Daryl Strawberry, a baseball icon with one of the most memorable and enchanting names in baseball history, coupled with a dazzling smile that could light up any room. Daryl Strawberry demonstrated an exceptional and mighty swing like no other. His impressive accomplishments include winning Rookie of the Year, playing in eight All-Star games, hitting 335 home runs, and achieving four World Series championships, and slamming nine home runs in the city championship game between Springfield and Shelbyville. Darrell's talent for hitting powerful home runs was unquestionable. However, Strawberry faced numerous challenges off the field, such as substance abuse and a fight against colon cancer. No matter one's viewpoint, there was only one Darrell Strawberry. Welcome to the Victory Vault. On this channel, we discuss some of your favorite athletes and celebrities. If you enjoy this type of content, hit the subscribe button and tap the notification bell. So that way you will get notified every time we upload a video. With that being said, let's examine the journey of Daryl Strawberry and how he became one of the greatest talents in baseball history. Born in the underprivileged areas of Los Angeles, Strawberry's athletic talent was clear from a young age. After a remarkable high school career at Crenshaw High, he was selected as the first overall pick in the 1980 Major League Baseball Amateur Draft by the New York Mets. Strawberry made his Major League debut in 1983, hitting 26 home runs and driving in 74 runs during an extraordinary rookie season. He quickly gained fan popularity and became a vital player for the Mets helping secure their 1986 championship win. During the mid to late 1980s, Strawberry reached the peak of his professional baseball career. He was an all-star every season from 1984 to 1991. In 1987, he achieved 39 home runs and 36 stolen bases, earning membership into the elite 30-30 club. At that point, he was one of only 10 players in Major League Baseball history to accomplish this remarkable achievement. In 1990, Darryl Strawberry signed a significant $22 million contract with his hometown team, the Los Angeles Dodgers. While he had some memorable moments with the Dodgers, injuries and off-field problems began to hamper his career. In May of 1994, the Dodgers released Strawberry after he missed a game. Later that season, he joined the San Francisco Giants, where he hit a mere four home runs. After the shortened 1994 season, Strawberry faced 60 days of home confinement due to federal tax evasion charges and a 60-day suspension by Major League Baseball for testing positive for cocaine. After completing his suspension, he joined the Yankees, helping them in their quest for the first ever American League wild card. Strawberry's career appeared at risk as his reputation suffered and his skills declined. No major league team offered him a contract. However, Strawberry remained confident in his abilities and signed with the St. Saint Paul Saints of the Independent Northern League. His performance there was remarkable. He had a batting average of 435, which included 18 home runs, 39 RBIs, and just 29 games. And for that reason, the Saints retired his number. And shortly after, he returned in 1996 to the Yankees. During his second stint with the Yankees, Strawberry was able to add three more World Series rings to his collection. Despite no longer being an all-star, he proved his worth as a valuable role player and a formidable left-handed hitter off the bench, smashing 11 home runs in the regular season and saving his best performances for the postseason. Although Strawberry struggled with injuries in 1997, he used the offseason to get into excellent physical condition. His hard work paid off, and he had his best season with the Yankees in 1998, hitting an impressive 24 home runs and playing in over 100 games for the first time since 1991. He even managed to hit two pitch hit grand slams. Unfortunately, Strawberry's good fortune was short-lived. During the latter half of the 1998 season, he began to experience abdominal pain, which he kept to himself. After the season ended, he was diagnosed with colon cancer. He persevered through his cancer treatment and made a comeback in 1999, but he only played in a few games and hit a meager three home runs. Strawberry planned to make a return to the Yankees in 2000, but his drug addiction derailed his career. During spring training, he again tested positive for cocaine, leading to his suspension for the entire season by the commissioner, Bud Selig. This unfortunate event effectively marked the end of his baseball career, but there is no doubt when he was on the field, the competition was always sweating bullets. That's it for the video, guys. Remember, if you enjoy the content here on Victory Vault, hit the like and subscribe button, and don't forget to tap the notification bell. We'll see you guys on the next video.